fun. Thanks again for coming to these interviews. Uh, of course, these are my study advice interviews where I interview either, uh, well, I interview one university student of mine because I'm a university professor, one a university student once a month, or uh, the other week, I interview once a month either an adult student, which means high school and above, or uh, a parent of a student. And I ask them questions like, how are they making themselves better this year? And also I ask them study advice questions. So that's why mainly this is study advice. Of course, this is, uh, I'm sorry, here we go. This is uh, this interview series. So I'll explain about who they are and where they're from. For example, today we have, of course, Misaki, who is from my hometown, or, or actually her house is very near me. So uh, she's from my neighborhood. She's my neighbor. And of course, uh, then next, in number two, she'll introduce about what's famous about Guma or Tagasaki. And then third, uh, I will explain why I decided to invite her. So please stay until then to understand why she's good at studying. And fourth, she'll give us some study advice. And fifth, how to be better every, uh, how to make herself better every day, every week, every year. So of course, uh, here, let me change this to here. And of course, this is brought to you uh, by our YouTube page, of course, Slice Up High uh, YouTube page, where we have a your daily dose of English. So every day we have a new lesson in English. And of course, this is uh, brought to you by or produced by Apple Pie English School, which is my Kaiwa school I've had for 18 years now in Guma in uh, Japan. And uh, let's see. So I've taught over by now, we have three months. I've taught over 30,000 students by now. Uh, I'm sorry, 30,000 lessons, over 6,000 students. So, of course, we're, um, these series I go over for foreigners overseas so that you know. We've so far done Hokkaido, Niigata, I think we had, Ishikawa. We've had a few in Guma, like today. Uh, to October, I'm uh, sorry, you might see another lesson in Tatabashi, and also today it was Tagasaki. So, of course, she's from here. I'll link these later in the show notes, Tagasaki. Uh it has a lot of things. It's the biggest city, I guess. And it's not the capital of Guma, but it's the biggest city in Guma. And of course, here you can see what Tagasaki looks like on a map. Like uh, this pink one over here was is Tachibashi, which another interview I did. I also did Shibakawa, which is up here. And uh, today we're going to Tagasaki. So of course, here is some things famous in Tagasaki. Uh, Misaki might talk about some of them. And of course, here are some famous pictures or pictures around Tagasaki. You can see uh, the malls near the station. Yeah, this is the station here and some malls around the station. Okay, so without further ado, let's see. So, uh, Misaki, please introduce us about something famous from Tagasaki. Okay, I think Tagasaki is famous for detsumeshi. Uh, detsumeshi means exquisite gourmet foods that are in danger of disappearing. It is said to be called Red Restaurant List in English. Zetsumeshi originated in Takasaki, but now it is so prevalent that there are TV series about it. Also, the website called Zetsumeshi List <laughs> introduces a variety of restaurants. So please check it out and visit them. <laughs> yes, and also, yes. Uh, how about Kanoyama? What do you think about uh, that statue? <laughs> uh, Kanoyama, uh, so there, there is Kanoyama in Takasaki. Mm -hmm. um, so when I was in high school. I I once went to Kanoyama to see the night view, and it is it it was beautiful. <laughs> yes, I agree. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, it it towers over. It watches over us from the mountain. Uh, if you see it. Okay, thank you. So now the third part of this interview, as usual, if you're following along, is I will explain why I decided to invite uh, Misaki today. So of course, she's in my uh, university classes. She's in a speaking class and also in a writing class. 
uh, in a local college here, so GPWU. So I'll link everything below. But yeah, Guma Prefecture, yeah, GP, yeah, W, yeah, Women's University. It's a famous women's university uh, locally. Uh, actually, it's uh, one of only two four-year universities for women in this area, in this region. Okay, so why did I decide to invite her? In the writing class, uh, as you can see from this, her, well, oh, sorry, her final exam is of course 99%. She did 99% on her final essay, <laughs> which is quite good. Yeah, she, she lost some points uh, for some things. She lost 16%, but she also gained 15% back uh, for different things she did well, different strategies she used that she learned hopefully in my class. But of course, uh, even though, so she was in the writing class, she is the number one student. Yeah, her overall grade is 96%. And in the speaking class, she was the second best student in the class at 90%. Uh, while she's the first or second in her classes, what I think really impressed me about her was in the writing class, for example, that how she improved. She went from 86% to 97% to 99% of her essays, but also, the writing class they have to teamwork so they have to write together and their grades are affected by their classmates grades so in the first essay her classmates grade was 74 percent, but in the second one 82 percent. so hopefully along the way she was helping it's a different classmate they'll team up every time she was helping her classmates uh get a better score so they were improving and in the speaking class yes as i said she got 90 percent overall what really impressed me was we had four presentations and she went from 52% on her first presentation, 52 to 75 to 88 and to 92 at the end. So she improved from 52% to 92%. And what really helped her was in class, I gave the advice, make sure time as an American teacher. Of course, I always say time is important. Time is most important. Time is in your control. And she took that advice to heart. So from the second presentation to the fourth, her timing was almost perfect every time. Uh, so I appreciate that she took my advice. I also appreciate that uh, she improved herself during the semester. Okay, so now in the fourth part of our interview, she will give us some study advice, what makes her a good student. Okay, so please give us some advice. Okay, uh, I think it's important to rely on others when studying. Uh, last year, I was in high school, so I went to study room in my school almost every day with my friend before the entrance examinations. So uh, if I was alone all the time, it would be hard to study. But with my friend, I didn't feel lonely and we could improve each other. And when studying at school, it was nice to, able to be able to ask questions right away to the teachers. So I think students should rely on people around them. Mm. Yes, good advice. Yeah, it's a great for motivation. Uh, like uh, as she knows from my classes but in america uh when i was a college student we would go to the local uh, family restaurant and study together uh even if we're studying different subjects it's uh, helpful not only to help each other with your subjects but also yes uh, to see other people study you want to study better it's like uh, I always say, when you see a sports player, uh, Michael Jordan, for example, or Naomi Osaka, who's a great tennis player. Of course, I can never play her level, but she makes me want to try harder so she can motivate me. Okay, so in the fifth part of this interview, uh, I always ask my students how to be better every day, every week, every year. So I always say it's not about beating your classmates. It's about, of course, improving from last week, last year, last month. How do you improve and make yourself a better human? So either physically, mentally, or emotionally. So Misaki, so how do you plan to make yourself better this year? Uh, I usually try to start what I can do easily. For example, I watch English videos like TED Talk, write a diary in English, 
and sometimes read Japan Times in English. So they are not too hard for me. So I can continue to study. So, um, and I can enjoy studying <laughs> with, um, so I think uh, con conti continuing something is um, good for me. <laughs> yes, uh, great advice. Yes, I agree. Uh, as she knows from my class, I always say to uh, to start any new habit or to break any habit you don't like, it only takes 21 days. Just do it in a row for 21 days. So stop smoking for 21 days. Uh, or if you want to study, I will study English five minutes a day for 21 days. Or I will walk. I'll walk outside even five minutes a day for 21 days. Anything that you continue after 21 days, it becomes easier. It becomes harder to break the habit. Like uh, for me, I walk, and of course, it's harder to break the habit. Yes, continuation. Yeah, uh, as they say, what's the Chinese expression? I'll paraphrase it: the journey of a thousand miles or a thousand kilometers starts with a single step. So exactly, just make single steps towards your goal, whatever that may be. Uh, I agree. Uh, great advice. Okay, thank you again. So everybody, please uh, say thank you in the comments to Misaki for coming today. And of course, you can subscribe up here, or there's some other interviews, or uh, sometimes I walk. Like I said, there's some walking videos on Sundays. Every week, I either have an interview or a walking video. And of course, up here, some popular videos on our channel. Thanks again, and see you next time. Take care.